So you just created your landing page in Webflow. Congratulations. But what you notice just before you publish your site to the world is that when the user clicks onto specific items in your navbar, it actually just scrolls just a bit too low. So what I mean by this is when I go in the how it works section, you may notice that there's not much spacing at the top. And if I go back to the home section, it's just scrolling far too low and it's cutting off the images right here on the right hand side. So let's go ahead and find a solution to fix all this. So the first thing first is I currently have a nav bar that's stuck to the top and in each of these links, they're currently scrolling to a section that is defined by an ID. So as you can see in my first hero section, I've given an ID of home. My next section, I've given an ID of product and the third section, I've given an ID of how and as you can see, I've just linked these to the relevant sections. So firstly, let's go ahead and understand why this is happening. So the first thing is let's go ahead and just change the position from sticky to static. And now if we test this, we can see that everything is actually working perfectly. It is scrolling to the top of the page. You can see nothing is being cut off. If I go into the how it works section, you can see that we have that nice padding and that spacing at the top, which is what we want. So the reason why this is happening is because the scroll is not factoring the navbar's height. So if we go back to the navbar and we change that position from static to sticky, like so, you'll notice that if I go into the product section, for example, you can see that it's actually scrolling correctly. So if I go back here, you can see the content section BG, which I've given the ID of product, is actually aligning to the top. But we just don't want this because it's not factoring the height of the navbar. Where we ideally want this to be scrolled down is right here. So of course, you know, a simple solution would just be adding extra padding, like 280 pixels. And now if we go back into this section, go into product, you can see it's working a bit better because it's no longer cutting the content off. But we just have this extra spacing at the top, which is not ideal in terms of accurate design. So let's go ahead and find an alternate solution. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of all the IDs in each of the section as we're no longer going to be referring to that. And just to give a really good understanding of the solution that we're going to be doing, I've just made sure that the nav bar is set to a height of 140 pixels purely for demonstration purposes. So just keep that in mind that this nav bar is 140 pixels. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to create a div block. So let's go ahead and add a div block. And we're going to give this div block a class of scroll, scroll dash anchor. And in this scroll anchor, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and change position from static to relative, which allows us to add a negative margin at the top of 140 pixels. So you'll notice that this nav bar right here, or this div block, sorry, that we just given a class of scroll anchor, and change the position to relative with a negative 140 pixels is actually sitting above the element or the section above this div block. So if I actually get rid of the negative 140, you can see the div block is currently stacked on top of the next section or the previous section. But if you put a negative 140 pixels, it actually goes into the previous section almost. And this is what we want to do in order to cater and fix that nav bar so scroll solution that we just had. So by adding a scroll anchor now, we can go ahead and just add this above the section that we want. So let's just go ahead and put this above the header section. And let's go ahead and duplicate this and put it above the second section. And we'll go ahead and duplicate this and put it above the third section. And now we can go ahead and just give it some IDs. So this section is home. The next scroll anchor is product. And the third scroll anchor is how. And now if we go back to the nav bar, we can actually link these to the section, home, product, and how. And now if I test the website, you will see if I click onto product, it perfectly scrolls to that orange section, now catering for the nav bar height in this example website, it's 140 pixels. So you can see this is an easy solution to fix that problem of the nav bar scrolling just a bit far too low when you click onto the nav links. And of course, this is all mobile responsiveness. So if you actually go into desktop, tablet, and if I go into the mobile landscape, 
you'll notice that the nav bar, I just got rid of this top banner. And let's just say this top banner is taking some, some space, like some sort of height. So if we actually go back into mobile landscape and click into the nav bar, you can see that I've set the height to 100 pixels now from 140 pixels. So what we can do to compensate this is just simply go into the scroll anchor and just change that from negative 140 to negative 100 pixels. And that way when you go into nav, go into mobile view and you go into that specific scroll anchor, you can see that scrolling perfectly towards that section. So that's how you overcome this issue. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you want more Webflow videos and design videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification. I'll be releasing new videos every week and I'll see you guys there.